Reach Immersive Radio. 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 Bringing you the best of the best. And the best is the Word of God. Word of God. Word of God. Hello, my brothers and my sisters. This is Bada Benji with another one. Uh, I think our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for this opportunity that He gave us. Um, last time we spoke about recording. Now we're gonna talk about editing your recordings and arranging some stuff. So we're gonna carry on about that. But before we do that, you need to understand something that is very important, which is the channel ring. Don't forget, we have already spoke about the mixer and the playlist and this thing that I call the arranger which is on your left hand side so what we're gonna do now we're gonna talk about the channel rig which has a step sequencer on it so I've put something earlier so that you can see don't forget we said when you want to play the playlist here the contents of this playlist you need to choose song mode if you want to play the contents of the channel rig you need to choose PAT but for us we're not going to use the channel rig as you see it here because this is for music production like now you see here this is a project for production this is mainly producers when they produce music so we we're not gonna use it in this way we're gonna use it for recording and arranging our show but it's very important that you know about it because there's something that you need to know so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna record something very quickly to show you by the way this is something that i put together earlier quickly just for demonstration just i'm just gonna demonstrate something very quickly mm. Let's see. Don't forget, before you record, you need to choose. You know most how to set up the recording mode and all that stuff. So. Jesus. 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 Yeah. Um, you see here at the playlist. Mm this one we're not gonna need I wanted to show you something okay Jesus Jesus okay now this is an audio file this thing that you see here we call it an audio file it's an audio file this is, is this is it. when you record yourself this is an audio file so here at the channel rig it says at this present moment here if you check here it says all but when you open it it says all and it says audio and it says unsorted unsorted all all audio so when you choose unsorted it's going to show the step sequencer which is these patterns that you see here I'm showing you this in case you make a mistake because you're going to use the channel rig also a lot of times. Channel rig, the mixer, the playlist, you're going to use them a lot of times. So you need to know in case you make a mistake. When this thing says unsorted, you're not going to see your audio files. Your audio files are going to include your songs and your voiceovers. So those are the audio files. So when it says unsorted, it's going to show the pattern files. So when you click audio, it's going to show only the audio files that are in this project. You see, in this case, it's only one which I have recently recorded. So what you need to understand is that this channel rig, and when you say it's all, then it's gonna show everything so I don't want you to be confused so to make it easier for you make sure that you always choose audio okay there's a reason why I show you this there's a reason why I show you this um, now that you have recorded yourself <coughs> let's say okay I'm gonna demonstrate something very quickly okay um, I'm gonna demonstrate something very quick let's say you want to start a show okay you are 
don't forget you are arranging a show usually what i do when i arrange a show i'm not live i am pre-recording everything so what i do and then i arrange my music before i do other stuff i make sure that i get a song this song is going to help me for my topic and to send the message out the technique that i use i use the songs and the topic they are, are one combination i combine them together and they work together as one so before i start my show i know which songs i'm going to play and where to find them now now that I know where my songs are and which song I want to use, firstly, before I record myself, I go and I navigate the song. I get the song. So in this case, I want one place. So I get one place. Okay, before I load, I load it. I want you to notice something that is very important. I'm going to open the channel rack. When I open the channel rack, you see this audio that I recorded le, le, earlier. Here it is. This is that I have recorded this one earlier. You see? Something that is very important before we proceed. There's something that I need you guys to understand to you guys. Um... When you record yourself, after choosing your channel, you choose the channel that you're going to use to record yourself. And I need you to do this for purpose of, uh, for, yeah, to organize your things so that next time when you navigate your projects, you won't have problems. Or when you want to send some stuff individually, then you need to do this and also for being organized because your files need to be organized so you need to do like this first things first let's say you're gonna start the show let's say the name of your show is the heart of worship okay first things first before you open this whole few tulips go and create for yourself a folder a place where you're gonna store all your photo loops files all your files go and look for yourself for a place where you're going to store all your files okay in this case in this case i'm gonna open a folder here on my desktop for my show which is called a heart of worship okay here is my folder so I'm going to leave it as a new folder for demonstration purpose. You're going to give it your name that you want. Here it is on my desktop. So what you need to do, you know most where your stuff are going to be. So you come to FL Studio before you start to record. You set your everything. You set your sound system and you choose your file where you want your mic to be let's say it's on channel 2 but before you record before you do anything you need to come to this red button here at the bottom this one you right click on it first second time before it shows anything like this keep on right clicking on it and then you navigate to the folder that you have created. If the folder that you have created is on the desktop, go to the desktop. If the folder that you have created is on my documents, go to my documents. If it's on music, go to music downloads. Depends on the way. In my case, it's on the desktop. So here it is. New folder. Double click on it to open it. So here you see this thing has already given your boy this thing a name. So what you need to do, just press. Maybe it depends on you. So this is your first take. You can just say my first voice. Just write number one. You know it is in your number one voice. It's the voice the, in your introduction. You just play you, you rename it according to how you wish for me this time i will rename it one and then i save it 
so i'm ready to go so what is going to happen is when i record this first voice that i'm going to record it's going to be directly stored in this folder it's going to be directly stored in this folder with the name that i have given it let me make you an example let's see as i said i'm gonna record myself i said when i rename that folder yeah stop you see here is its name its name is one you see so after recording it it's going to be stored in that folder that you have created here it is in my case it's on my desktop here it is one you see it is stored in there it's just to arrange your stuff properly so what you need to do also when you save your project you need to save it at the in the same folder save as and then you navigate to that folder in my case it's on the desktop the new folder open it and then you save your project in here save saved so let's say something comes up and you want to close the project you just come save and you close the project so next time you come again and you want to carry on with your work you you go to that folder that you have created you open it you're gonna find things like this maybe there are you have already recorded some stuff and what else you're going to find things like this so it's easy for you to navigate to open the point you just come and you double click on it when you double click on it it's going to open your project again with everything then you can start and take it from where you last uh, ended up sorry <coughs> so yeah that is how it is um, for the purpose of this video not to be long I'm gonna stop here and then I'm gonna make the part 2 of this video so thank you very much for being with us I will see you on the next video always remember that God loves you and he is going to bless you dearly thank you Reach Immersive Radio Radio Bringing you the best of the best And the best is the word of God Word of God